Hey, this is John Glennon of the Tennessee, and I'm here with colleague Jim Wyatt, and we're taking a look ahead to Thursday night's game between the Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. Titans trying to bounce back from a very disappointing defeat last weekend to Jacksonville, and here to take a look at three keys to the Indianapolis game is Jim Wyatt. Yeah, I'm going to start with one that should never be a key because it should be a given, but it wasn't last Sunday, and that's the Titans have got to play with some intensity. they got to play like the game matters, and they got to play with some fire because you know the Colts are going to come in here after a 38-8 to loss to the Rams ready to play. Titans should have been ready to play against the Jaguars. They, they were not, and they lose 29-27. to So you're going to have two fired-up teams ready to play. And I tell you what, if you think it's doom and gloom around the city now after a four, with a four and five record, you, if it slips to four and six or three straight road games, it's really going to get ugly. So this is a huge game for the Titans. They should be ready to play. They should have been ready to play last Sunday. They weren't. So that should be uh, key number one is just their mindset. Number two is they can't afford to, to make the mistakes that they made last week. And, and it starts with Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's back in the saddle taking over for Jake Locker. I think everybody everybody remembers his first kind of go around as a starter this year. Team went 0-2. Fitzpatrick had one touchdown pass, four interceptions. You know, they've got to play better. I thought Fitzpatrick looked better against the Jaguars, but it was a game where the Titans had four turnovers. Chris Johnson fumbled the ball. Jake Locker had a fumble. He threw an interception. Fitzpatrick lost the ball, had it taken away from him late. You can't have those shenanigans going on against a Colts football team that's, uh, you know, going to be, you know, probably on top of its game after a loss. So Fitzpatrick's got to settle in. He's got to play well. And, uh, and again, no uh, costly turnovers. I think number three, Titans have got to fluster Andrew Luck. You know, this is a guy who can sit back and pick you apart if you, you know, if you allow it. He had three turnovers, three interceptions last week against the Rams. But on the season, he's thrown 14 touchdowns, only six interceptions. Uh, I think anybody who watched the Colts against the Texans, they were behind in that game. Luck turned it on and uh, he got on fire and they were able to come back and win that game a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you know, he's got a dangerous receiver, T.Y. Hilton. Uh, other than that, the, the Colts are kind of looking for answers. So the, the Titans have got to get some pressure on Luck, try to take Hilton out of this game. And if they can keep the Colts maybe under, you know, from, from lighting up the scoreboard, certainly it could be a, one of these tight games that the Titans could potentially find a way to win late. But the, all these things are going to have to come together for it to happen for the Titans on Thursday. Uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting week. You'll make sure you follow at, at Glennon Sports, at Jay Wyatt Sports on Twitter, leading up to the game and throughout the Thursday night game. Check out the blogs on Tennessean.com. Uh, we'll have more videos, you know, e even after the game as well. Uh, it's a pivotal game for the Titans. Uh, we'll see what happens on Thursday night. For John Glennon, I'm Jim White with the Tennessean.